Okay, thanks for coming to paythepoolman.com. Okay, thanks for coming to paythepoolman.com. We're going to make a quick video here of a common question that we have. Uh, when you're coming in to paythepoolman.com as a new customer and you're transitioning from another program, what do you do with customers that owe you money? So let's say it's January and you are starting out with Pay the Pool Man and you have customers that owe you money still for December, November, you know, or any other previous months. How do you take care of that with Pay the Pool Man? So we're going to go ahead and show you uh, what we recommend and the easiest way to uh, to take advantage of our features. So uh, we're going to start with uh, recreating that past due invoice. So uh, for the customer we're going to use, we're going to look up uh, Captain Rentals. And we can see right here, Captain Rentals, one of our commercial properties. All right. And if we scroll down real quick, we auto billing. However, there's no transactions listed. Okay. That's because it's brand new. We're just getting ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to create an invoice and let's go ahead and open this up. And you know what? We're actually going to recreate. So let's go back. So let's say, uh, this one was due December 15th and let's go ahead and say, was on the 1st of December. Let's go ahead and type in pool service and let's go ahead and save it. There's no reason to actually print that invoice again because they've already received it last month. There's no reason to, uh, there's no reason to re-email it because once again, they've already received those items. Okay, so let's now go ahead and go to our home page here. We can already see that right away, it's showing up as an overdue account, and that's what we want. We want the ability to take advantage of the features for Pay the Pool Man. So if you have a cell phone number for the customer in the program, you'll be able to send a text message, an email reminder. You can email a statement if they owe more than one invoice. Print statements out right away, add late fees. You can do the whole shebang. And what's great is now when we go to run our billing, let's go over here real quick. And let's just say that it's going to be for the 15th. Let's run that billing. All right. And let's go ahead and just print them out. We're not going to go through the whole process of how to add extras. Uh, we have lots of videos to show you how to do that. All right. And let's cancel our print. And we see right on top here is Captain's Rentals. We have our regular pool service listed. And we scroll down, we can see that that previous invoice has been carried over so that the total is correct. So now he's going to get a new invoice with the correct total for what he owes you in the past and current. And then you can also go to your dashboard and take advantage of those features that we have to go ahead and track down the money for that customer. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.